Martin is an outstanding individual. I had the pleasure of serving on the nominating committee for RI president last August for the year 2013-2014. We had some outstanding candidates, truly dedicated Rotarians, knowledgeable Rotarians who had served in almost every position there was except president. But of all the candidates, Ron was the outstanding one because of his ability to connect with people. He understands how we all think. He uses common sense. He looks ahead. He has charisma. And it's really a pleasure to welcome Ron Burton to the podium tonight. Ron? What an absolute wonderful evening. You know, I like to do a lot of things in Rotary. A couple of things I really like to do is attend the charter banquet for a new Rotary Club and to attend an anniversary celebration for a Rotary Club. And my logic is probably a little off base, but it's my logic, and I like it. And the reason I like to do that is because in the entire history of this club, there will never be another 100th anniversary. Now, a few years ago, 1997, I had the privilege of being the 75th anniversary speaker for the Pauls Valley, Oklahoma Rotary Club. Herbert J. Taylor was the third president of that club. I can't imagine a Rotarian in this room that doesn't know that Herbert J. Taylor is the author of our four-way test, not the one that Governor Hickenlooper talked about, <laughs> but the one that we recite at each of our meetings every week. And the special thing to me that evening was the fact that they played a reel-to-reel -reel tape of Herbert J. Taylor's comments. They didn't play the whole thing. They played excerpts from it. And I thought to myself, as I sat there before I had the opportunity to speak, in the entire history of that club, Herbert J. Taylor would always be the 15th anniversary speaker. And I would always be the 75th anniversary speaker. But you people lucked out tonight. You have the greatest speaker in Rotary to be your 100th anniversary speaker. And I'm delighted to have the opportunity not only to be with you, but to be with him. You know, I had uh, the privilege yesterday of speaking to the group out at our hotel, the Hyatt and Tech Center. And at the end, I was presented with a copy of your centennial book. I'm not a speed reader, so I haven't had a chance to completely read the thing, but I did read several of the chapters and found it extremely interesting. And I have to tell you that I am so impressed with what this Rotary Club has done in 100 years. This club has been the catalyst for the fact that today we have 7,000 Rotarians in the state of Colorado and 148 clubs. And it all started here in 1911. I cannot imagine how many lives you and the people who came before you have touched, not only in this city, not only in this state, not only in this country, And I congratulate you for that. And I know if President Callion Banerjee were here tonight, he would say the same thing to you. So I don't know what's in your future. I know what's in your past. But if your past is anything like what you're going to do in the future, you will continue to do those great things. And I want to wish you Godspeed in that effort.
Congratulations. Cliff Dockerman is somebody that most of us have had the pleasure of hearing several times over the years. He's been a speaker at Denver Rotary Club. He's been a past RI director, of course, and a past district governor in California. He was a charter president of the University Hills Rotary Club, the first club that Denver Rotary Club founded in the city of Denver. For many years, we only had one club in each of the large cities of the U.S. And the University Hills Club was the first one we founded in the city limits of Denver. Now we've got eight or so, Denver Southeast, Denver Lodo, Denver Mile High, Denver University Hills Club, Denver Tech Center, Denver Airport, etc. But Cliff was the charter president of that club. And as a past district governor from California, he formed what turned out to be a model club. He knew the correct way to do it. And that club started out with a bang, quickly became 100 members. They were one of the outstanding clubs year in and year out in District 5450, thanks to Cliff Dockerman. As world president, he quickly established himself as the best speaker of any of the world presidents that we've ever had. He has such a voice that he doesn't even need a microphone. He could let all of you in this room hear what his remarks are without this mic but uh, as he will use it for your benefit in the back row. But he's got a humor to go along with his voice and his experience, such as the year he was president, he, his uh, coat was a red jacket, and all the district governors, 530 of them in the world, wore red coats that year. And I remember a story that I often chuckle about, when he was in England in a small hotel, meeting with a district governor getting ready to go to a meeting, they both had on their red jackets and as he walked through the lobby, he heard these two little old ladies sitting on the side saying, my, how old these bellboys have gotten to be. <laughs> I also remember at the Melbourne Convention when he was president, they had a power failure for the entertainment portion of the music and Cliff stood up and ad-libbed for 15 minutes before 18,000 people and actually had them rolling in the aisles when he got done. He could have outdone Bob Hope if that had been his profession. But tonight we're very privileged to have Cliff come here and join us for this 100th birthday celebration. And he has a special treat in store for you because he has some powers with people above that the rest of us don't have. So please welcome past RI President Cliff Dockin. Thank <laughs> you. 